someone is diagnosed with cervical cancer, it not only affects us, the individuals who are going through this, it affects our friends, our families, anyone, our coworkers. Today's episode of Survivor TV is just about that. I'm Tamika Felder and this is Survivor TV. I'm excited because I'm sitting here with someone I'm proud to call a friend. Aww. My girl, Sarah Lyle. Hi. Sarah, welcome to Survivor <laughs> TV. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So we're, we're friends, but... Right? The tragic world of cervical cancer mm -hmm. is what brought us together. It's true. Tell me about your friend, Heather Lynn Martin. Uh, my friend Heather Lynn Martin was an amazing, an amazing person, so full of life. We met in high school and we're instantly friends. We, you know, called ourselves sisters and people believed us. Um, so we were the best of friends in high school, played soccer together, we're in drama club together, all sorts of dorky awesome stuff. Um, we went to college, she went to USF, I went to the University of South Florida, I went to the University of Florida, but we stayed friends and then eventually we both found our way to New York City. And I was here working in the um, magazine industry. She moved up, she had a few different jobs. She was bartending, she was waitressing, um, she was working at a holistic medicine thing. She had all, she always had like so many she things a, going on, you know? She, she was a jack of all trades. <laughs> she really was, she literally like she, when I say she was full of life, she was like just oozed, you know, like happiness and um, positivity and energy. Um, so, um, so she was so full of life, but sadly, sadly, her life was taken at a young age. Absolutely. She, um, she told me in the summer of 2005, we met up at a bar and um, I was working at Jane Magazine at the time. She told me that she got, had been diagnosed with cervical cancer. And, you know, I didn't, I, I knew a little bit about cervical cancer because I was working at, you know, women's magazines and I had heard that there was an HPV vaccine that was up for FDA approval. Mm -hmm. um, but what I knew was that it primarily affected older women because it's a, a slow growing cancer. Right. So, you know, we met and at this bar and we we're like, whatever, like, we're still going to beat this cancer. And did she I'm look like, sick? You know, no, she didn't. She didn't look sick. She, um, no. She was, she looked a little shell shocked. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Yeah, I, with that sort of news, obviously, you know. Yeah. But, you know, she was, she didn't look sick. Um. So fast forward, I was talking to my editors and I was saying that this person that I loved for so long had got the cervical cancer diagnosis and my editors were like, well, why don't you write this story? Because, you know, there's a news peg, um, which, you know, in the industry means like there's a timely reason to write this story, which was the, F the, the um, HPV vaccine. And so I started writing the story about Heather because, you know, the idea was that through her story, we were gonna, you know, make sure that nobody, this never happened to anybody else, you know, because what, what happened with her was that she had three jobs, but she had no insurance. She had sort of put off going to get her pap smear and the whole thing. Um, she fell through the cracks. She totally fell through the cracks. This should not have happened to no, her. No, it was just, it was so fast, you know. I think she and I might have met at that bar in May and she died in December. And how old was she when she died? Uh, she must have been 28. She must have been 28, because I would, she would have been 36 now, I'm 36. So, um, yeah, and you know, she was surrounded by so many people that loved her, and we were all there for her. So anyways, wrote the story. There was a really huge response, you know, because it, it was, it was, it was just, sure. it was, it was a heartbreaking story. And, um, people wrote in and said, you know, this, this story saved my life. I went and I got tested and I, you know, had precancerous cells. And thank you. And thank you for that, for oh. sharing such a personal and tragic thing. But by sharing that, which is what Survivor TV is all about, it's about you and I and everyone out there who's been affected by this tragedy sharing their story. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want people to do, to take the negative, and it sounds so cliche, but turn it into some sort of positive. Right. 
Right. You know, and at that time, really, until Guard itself came on the scene and there were those, was it like the one less ad campaign, you know, people weren't really, I mean, I, I, I say this knowing that you were already advocating mm -hmm. for cervical cancer awareness and prevention and, so you know, support for survivors. But really, a lot of people weren't really talking about it because it was sort of a taboo thing. So, um, yeah, so the story came out, really big response, um, which was bittersweet for me, of course, because I lost my friend in the process. But my editors, after a year, they were like, let's do a follow-up story. And you had seen me doing some mm -hmm. TV with um, Heather's little sister, Donna, mm -hmm. who I am so happy to say is married and has a son. And I'm sure that Heather's looking down and, and smiling. Angel. Whenever you lose somebody that means so much to you, you never, you never forget. And I really appreciate being able to do something like this and knowing you and knowing that Heather's story, people can still learn from it and that she's still here in that way. But yeah, I, I have moments where I get really sad because she would have been doing amazing things right now and you know, it's, and it's sad that she's not around to do that anymore. Well, I promised you that I will never, ever stop talking about Heather. Aww. That, you know, will she's always with me even though I never met her. She but, would have loved you and I told you the first time. And I, met I would you. have loved her. And you may not be a survivor of cervical cancer, but you're a survivor of losing your friend. Right. I'm Tamika Felder. This is my girl Sarah Lyle and we are survivors. We'll see you on the next episode of Survivor TV. See you next time. <laughs>